This technique is uh, describing the arthroscopic debridement of the chondral surface of the patellofemoral compartment uh, using a three portal technique as well as a use of a radio frequency surface ablator. Through standard medial and lateral portals an arthroscopy is performed, chondral pathology as well as meniscal pathology in both the medial femoral, notch and lateral femoral compartments are dealt with appropriately. With this technique, uh, I always use a fluid management system which allows um, equalised pressure throughout. Moving into the patellofemoral compartment, uh, what we're seeing here is chondral delamination of the chondral surface of the patella. This is initially a probe through the anteromedial portal and the third portal is made uh, through the supralateral region, initially with a, a needle followed by a blunt trocar. The chondral area is assessed um, and then dealt with appropriately, uh, initially with the 4.5 angled uh, chondrotome. Um, this is to uh, initially debride any loose chondral surface and the rest of the technique uh, using the radio frequency ablator enables to um, improve the uh, stability of the chondral surface without damaging normal components of the chondral surface. I have found that uh, the technique with the surface energy wand initially um, stabilises the chondral surface, but often it is necessary to um, exchange the wand and the chondrotome to provide or to, or to produce the smooth surface that I'm after for a finished product. It may be the exchange of a wand and a chondrotome one, two, three, or as many times as necessary. As you can see, the patellofemoral compartment is well inflated by the fluid energy pump and with this technique, a smooth chondral surface is manufactured. Moving into the trochlear region, this is the um, central st stripe sign seen often in a uh, knee arthroscopy. However, addressing this can be difficult with just a chondrotome. Um, this is at least five mils deep. Addressing this uh, pathology with the uh, surface energy wand allows chondral delamination, chondral pathology to be uh, smoothly and quickly addressed uh, by the wand and once again with sequential changing of the wand to the chondrotome to smooth and harden up the surface uh, centrally and peripherally. The advantages of this technique is the uh, fluid management system uh, allows the instrumentation to be uh, removed and exchanged without significant iatrogenic uh, damage or worry. The RF1 addresses uh, the chondral uh, pathology far more easy than with by the chondrotome itself. And the um, supralateral portal enables a directional activity, meaning that you can address pathology without causing other damage to other surfaces uh, throughout the knee.